Ezra Venechamiah Nehemiah 2. And it came to pass in the month Nichan, in the twentieth year of Artachshashta, the king, that wine was before him. And I took up at the wine and gave it unto the king. Now I had not been before time sad in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is your countenance sad, seeing you not, seeing you are not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. And then I was very sore afraid, and said unto the king, Let the king live forever. Why should not my countenance be sad, when the city, the place of my father's sepulchres, lies waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire? Then the king said unto me, For what do you make request? So I prayed to the Elohim of heaven. And I said unto the king, If it please the king, and if your servant have found favor in your sight, that you would send me unto El Yahuda, unto the city of my father's sepulchres, that I may build it. And the king said unto me, the queen also sitting by him, For how long shall your journey be? And when will you return? So it pleased the king to send me, and I sent, rather, and I set him a time. Moreover, I said unto the king, If it please the king, let letters be given me to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over till I come into El Yahuda. And a letter unto Echaf, the garter of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams eth for the gates of the palace which appertained to the house and for the wall of the city and for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted me, according to the good hand of my Elohim upon me. Then I came to the governors beyond the river and gave them eth the king's letters now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. When Kanbalat the Choroni and Toviahu the servant, the Ammoni, heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Yashadael. So I came to Yerushalayim and was there three days. And I arose in the night, I and some few men with me. Neither told I any man what my Elohim had put in my heart to do at Yerushalayim. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I rode upon. And I went out by night by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon well, and to the dung port and viewed the walls of Yerushalayim, which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain, and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. Then went I up in the night by the brook, and viewed the wall, and turned back, and entered by the gate of the valley, and so returned. And the rulers knew not whither I went, or what I did, neither had I as yet told it to the Yahudim, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then I said unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Yerushalayim lies waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us build up at the wall of Yerushalayim, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of at the hand of my Elohim, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, 
Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. But when Canbalat the Khorni, rather, Khorni, and Toviyahu the servant, the Ammoni, and Gershem the Aravi heard it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, What is this thing that ye do? Will ye rebel against the king? Then answered I them, and said unto them, The Elohim of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. But ye have no portion, nor right, nor memorial, in Yarushalayim.